And now we are back for toppings. We have some toppings we need to add. So here's our requirements that we're looking for. I'm actually going to put them in the topping for right now. Because they kind of belong here. All right, we got regulars and meats. So there's two ways we get it. We could create public statics. Topping. Uh, uh, point what, 10. We do this nice and simple, but it violates one of my practices. No public statics. I do not like public statics. So, what's another way to do it? Uh, we can just create the toppings um, as objects, which I would advocate going down that route initially. <clears throat> because I think it will be the strongest uh, strongest way to accomplish that. So, we have some topping tests, which are in the right spot let's go ahead i'm just going to use this for my topping for uh to create each of the tests um and i'm going to kick topping into the source order here all right so topping tests go grab my comment out of toppings hey look it's not sealed that's okay, it shouldn't be. It's going to become abstract. We'll get to that. All right, so mozzarella. I update my template. Should cost uh, 10%. Should cost, should increase price as expected. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of dumb. Um, but whatever. <clears throat> um, new mozzarella topping. That's not what I want. I want topping equals this. All right, we got our construction going on. We actually know what both of these are. Um, this is point one, and that'll be wrong for now. All right, yeah, everything works because we didn't do uh, what we should have. Money one, and this is going to be money actual. Equals all of this stuff, and then our actions just do the string actual dot should dot be point zero point one. Going to because <clears throat> I want actual multiple, not just magic. Uh, two, zero. There we go. <laughs> Now our mozzarella price is expected. We're going to do mozzarella. This is going to be description. That currently takes a string builder. And this is where we're going to really want to look at how we do this. Because <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, we really want to uh, look at how we're going to do this because otherwise we got string builder popping around. I'm not, I mean, it works. It's okay. Why are you not there? You will have a space. Mozzarella topping shouldn't, ah, because topping has a space. Topping shouldn't have a space. Um, so we're breaking it. Yeah, pizza should add in the description. Dot spend. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I don't like topping adding its own prefix. That's not where it belongs. So now we fixed it. Everything passes. Um, again. You don't see the uh, little bit of end crunch indicating all test passing that I can see. So we fix that. Topping tests. Now we have mozzarella, which we can't spell. Um, okay, so we have one percentage and mozzarella. So fantastic. Uh, now we have some other uh, toppings to do. So we can do. I'm going to combine them. Uh, no, I'm not going to combine them. I am going to do a big old duplication. What do we got next? Uh, next in our requirements is mushrooms. So we are just going to do copy and paste for mushrooms. Now I'm just updating everything. I know it's, it's not the right way to do it, but... Too bad. Um, it works. Mushrooms, mushrooms. So it's the uh, same price. And now we can put in mushrooms, mushrooms, m -m mushrooms. All right. See, and now it all works nice and happy. As is for olives. Rooms. Oops. Let's do olives, everything in the selection. Okay. And we will just do the same thing here. Duplicate that functionality. Replace mushrooms with olives in the selection. There we go. Five appearances. Sounds about right. Uh, all tests are running. Okay. And now I'm going to need this for what are the other toppings? What do we got? Pepperoni, bacon, and ham. So you duplicate pepperoni. Whoops. Olives. Replace with pepperoni. Yeah, it's an okay pizza that way. Um, and it should actually be, we're going to uh, 1.5, so it should be 30? 30. Okay. Okay, we'll do the same replacement here. Um, and you should be 0.2. Nope, 0.15. Right. 15%. Is that what we said? Yep, 15%. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so now we duplicate you, do the replacement of pepperoni with bacon, bacon, everything's better with bacon, okay, bacon, yeah, it's all passing right away, that's fine, we're going to do a replacement again, everything is happy, now we're going to duplicate you, we're going to do a replacement of bacon, with ham, not a terrible replacement, and then we're going to do that same replacement in a selection. Okay, so now, as everything goes, we are fully tested for all of our 
Um, so the feature will add all toppings. All right, and we got some tests in there for those, <clears throat> which is fantastic. Uh, but I am going to yank these out into the topping class. These are all, these are what I call knowledge classes. They don't do, but they know. Um, there's probably a better term for them. I would love to hear what that is. Until then, they're knowledge classes. They allow me to represent the concept I want as a class in the code. So I can talk about all of Topsings, and when I talk about that, I mean it has 10%. You notice that uh, we got some primitives going on, don't we? Yes, yes, we do. Lots of primitives here. I don't like that. We will look at how to fix that next time. Um, this is a refactor. I did it manually, but I'm going to consider it safe. Uh, well, move. Um, we'll move topping classes into topping file. And then this is going to become abstract, which is going to break some stuff. Oh, all my topping. Tests. Hmm. Look at that. Topping doesn't work. Well then. Uh, do I actually have a top? I don't have a description for topping. Description test. So I'm going to add that. You know what? I don't. Yeah, that's fine. Um, topping to describe. New stream. Order. If I would have done this test first, I would have realized that description was there, um, or that it was putting in the space when it shouldn't. But hey, we learn. Da, da, do string. So now we can't do this. So what we need to actually do is have a big topping. For our percentage. Go and we're gonna kick this out into our fake folder. Gonna make that also a fake topping. And ah, we have some other tests that are creating toppings, which now need to create fake toppings. There we go. We have a fake pizza with some fake toppings. Sounds delicious. Uh, I don't like this. All right, we're at 14 minutes. I'm going to commit this. What did we do? We created a fake. We'll create fake topping. So we like the fakes because if we change the price or the description of mozzarella or uh, any of those other, or uh, of any of the toppings, then our tests that may have relied on that for other behavior will break. And I don't want that. Forgot to uncheck topping. 
I meant to uh, commit its uh, abstractness later. Okay, that's fine. All right, that is all for this video. We will come back and check out some other stuff next time.